so this message is for the teenage Denea, otherwise known as Wendy. So, Wendy, my first message to you is don't let anyone else make you think less of yourself because ultimately you control how you feel about yourself, not anybody else. What other people think of you, it doesn't matter. Don't let all the bullies in school chase you out of school. Do not quit school. Don't wait until you're an adult to get your GED. Get your diploma. You miss. You will miss out on so much. You will miss out on proms. You'll miss out on parties. You'll miss out on the whole graduation experience. All because you felt beat up and alone. Find somebody else who feels beat up and alone and become their friend. And push forward. Just push forward. I know it's hard because you get teased. I know it's hard because the girls gang up on you. And dodgeball sucks. So if you know there's going to be dodgeball, just call in sick that day. Just just tell your parents you don't feel good and don't go to dodgeball. Or better yet, run out there, grab those balls, and hit freaking Paula Aronson in the damn face. Because that is the kind of person she was. Or maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't lower yourself to what someone like her was. Maybe you should be better. So I take that back. Don't hit her in the face, but damn it, aim for that girl because nobody else ever did. Everybody was afraid of her. Don't be afraid of the bullies. Don't do it. Because you know what? When you grow up, you are gonna speak out against people who bully. And I don't know, maybe the fact that you're bullied now is why you speak out. So, don't put up with the bullies, but don't drop out of school, okay? And you're not fat. You are so far from fat. I know you think you're fat, but you're not. Because you know what? You know why you think you're fat? Because society tells you you have to be super skinny. All those cheerleaders that are teasing you, they keep telling you you have to be super skinny. And you know what? You wear a size 8. Why do you think you're fat? Seriously, when you grow up, you are going to wear a size 22. So you be happy with that size 28. And you know what? Even a size 22 girl like me when I'm an adult is flipping hot and flipping pretty. So don't ever let it bother you when you're an adult either. So you're going to have a friend ask you out on a blind date. And it's going to be while you live out by Gun Lake. So don't go. Just don't go. Because the guy that she's setting you up with, she doesn't know it. You don't know it. And his cousin doesn't know it. But he's going to try to rape you in the back seat. And it's going to be really traumatic for you. It's going to be really traumatic not because he succeeds, because he doesn't. But because it's going to flood back all these horrible, horrible feelings you have from when you were a kid. Because, yeah, you were abused. Your dentist abused you. Your grandpa abused you. And sexual abuse is no joke. So talk about it. You need to tell somebody. You can't hold that until you're an adult and expect that you're going to grow up and it's going to be okay. Because... It's never okay for anyone to touch somebody else inappropriately. So don't go on that blind date because it's no good for you. But do talk about what happened to you as a kid. Do reach out to your parents. And if your parents won't listen to you, because I'm going to tell you right now, they're not going to. They're going to want to. And they're going to mean well, but they're not going to. Because they don't know how to deal with it either. Because, you know, your mom was abused too. So she's not sure how to, to deal with the fact that her daughter was abused. So it's not their fault. They're products of society too. So as you're growing up, stop blaming your mom because she didn't listen to you. Okay? Don't do it. You know what? 
when your mom turns 52, she's going to die. And it's going to break your heart. And it, when you're 49, you're still going to be heartbroken because you don't have your mom no more. So make sure whatever differences you have with your mom, that you talk to her about it. And even if she won't listen, don't give up. Don't give up on her. Because you don't want to wait until you're in your 20s like you did to have a good relationship with her. You don't want to wait until a year before she dies and then you have a good relationship with her. You want to have a good relationship with her the whole time you're growing up and listen to the things that she teaches you and absorb all the craft stuff. You absorbed a lot. You could absorb so much more. So I want you to know your mom was a victim too. And really, you were both survivors. And I don't think anybody ever told her she was a survivor either. So make sure you remember you're a survivor. Okay? You, you, Wendy, are a survivor. Because a lot of people are not going to know. Heck, some people may not know until they see this. A lot of people aren't going to know that as you were growing up, you were filled with so much pain because of what happened to you. And the fact that nobody listened to you when you told them about the dentist. Or that you always had this nagging feeling that so much more happened to you and then you find out it did. So, speak up. Don't hold on to it, okay? Because you're a survivor. But I will tell you this. When you grow up, you're going to have amazing friends. And you're going to join this amazing company called Unique, and it's going to change you. It's going to change your life, and it's going to make you filled with that survivor mentality, because that's what that company wants. So it, know that, that when you get older, you're going to have support from people you don't even know, okay? And you're going to have amazing, amazing friends in your life. So don't give up on you because you don't give up on other people. You've never gave up on other people. Even, even now as a teenager, you're always reaching out to people who you think are hurting. I think it's because you couldn't reach out to yourself. You couldn't express yourself. So express yourself while you're reaching out, okay? Um, so this guy's going to come along and his name is Rick. And you're not going to like him at first, but you're going to kind of grow to love him and... You guys are going to want to move in together and experience life together. And your parents are going to insist you get married because good girls don't move in with a guy. They marry him. Don't listen to them. Move out together. Experience life together. You don't have to rush into being married. You can, you can love him and marry him later. You don't have to do it right away. Okay? But, but if he asks you to marry him, do it. Because he's an amazing person. And you will have two beautiful, beautiful children with him. And you do not want to miss out on that. Because let me tell you, your kids, your kids are great. Um, your kids have kept you going more than once. More than twice. Probably more than 50 times. Your kids have kept you going through hard times. You want those kids, trust me. And then... You know, then you're going to have grandkids later, and that's cool, too. So, when Rick comes along, just get to know him. It's awesome, okay? And I, and... So... So later, you and him will divorce, okay? I'm going to let you know that, but don't let that stop you from marrying him. Because it's important in your life story but you'll remain friends okay it's all it's all good um i already said for you to to spend more time with your mom but so make sure your sister tammy is important to you okay make sure she's always healthy make sure she's always well taken care of because you don't want to lose her and 
Some things are not up to us, so you may not have any way to save her, but make sure she's important to you, okay? Make sure she's important to you. And when you get around 18, you're going to have a really bad accident, but you'll be okay. You'll totally be okay. But do not let your sister Christy bully you. And if my sister Christy watches this, I love her. But do not let her bully you. Because um, if you would have stood up to her when she was younger, maybe it would have changed things for both of you. Because she was just reaching out too. She was hurting. And I don't even know all the reasons why she was hurting. Or maybe she's still hurting. I don't know. But be there for her differently. You can't. You can't just be her stand-in mom. You have to continue to be her sister, okay? When, when you're contemplating suicide, don't do it, okay? Like, you didn't because your sister Christy found the note. But if she didn't find the note, you might have. So don't even write the note. Just go ask for help. Because... For all you know, that note could have scarred your sister Christy. She was a mess when she found it. Don't do that to her, okay? Just don't do it. Remember, people care about you, okay? Be confident. Be confident in who you are. Be confident in the clothes you like to wear. Be confident in the kind of music you like to listen to. Because it doesn't matter if other kids like what you like. It doesn't matter even if your family likes what you like. Like it because it's you. You know, throw those Michael Jackson posters up if you want. Just be you. You're so creative. You are so creative. Continue to be creative. Create younger. Don't wait so long to express yourself because you're afraid of what other people will think. It's so sad that teenagers have to go through that. So just try not to do it. Try to listen to me now and just, just, just. Wendy, be you sooner, okay? Be you sooner. Um, so when you run away, I really want to say don't run away. But I'm not going to. Because I think when you ran away, it was the best thing to do. You needed to run away. You needed for people to understand that... Things weren't good at home. You needed to find you. But when you run away, do it smarter. Do it smarter. You know that guy who picked you up? He could have been a real sleaze. He could have done something horrible to you instead of just dropping you off at your friend's house. Oh, and by the way, when you're going to run away, make sure your friend is home, not just her mom, because... Her mom's not going to be nearly as helpful as she would have been. Okay? So when you run away, run away smart. Pack a bag, take it with you. Contact somebody to get a ride. Don't just start walking when the place you're going to is 10 miles away. Mm -mm. That is a bad idea, girl. And don't turn to alcohol, okay? Don't turn to alcohol and think that it's going to fix your problems for you because it's not. And it just is a bad idea. Don't run from your parents when you're in a car and make them chase you for miles. That's bad. It doesn't matter if you were driving or not. You allowed it to happen. So don't do stuff like that. It's stupid. I know. I know you're hurting. And I know you have all this pain inside that you don't know how to express. And you feel like you have nobody in the world to really talk to about it. But alcohol is not the answer. It's not. And for the love of all that's holy, don't, don't mix your mom's codeine with the alcohol. I know, I know you have a horrible, horrible female issues when you're a teenager. And nobody will listen to you and nobody will take you to the doctor even though you're in so much pain, but stealing your mom's codeine and then drinking a six-pack of beer is really dumb. You know what's going to happen? You're going to end up in the hospital. 
And then you're going to try to leave the hospital, even though you know you shouldn't. And then you're going to think you got away with it and your parents didn't find out because you're 18. But guess what? They did find out. Why? Because your mom has a scanner and she heard it come across the scanner. So girl, don't be that stupid. Don't be that stupid. Okay. And when Aaron Codebra comes around, just kiss him. Just kiss him. You shouldn't have wait. You sh shouldn't have just waited. You should have just kissed him. He'd have just been a short-term boyfriend, but he was a good guy. So, I guess that's my advice for you right now. Um, just remember that you're not the only person in the world hurting. And it's okay to hurt. And it's most definitely okay to reach out and tell people you are hurting. And if you reach out and nobody listens, you just keep reaching out. Because if you reach out now, it's going to save you a lot of pain later. Not just mental pain, but physical pain. I'm really proud of you, Wendy. And no matter if you take this advice or not, you're going to grow up and you're going to be a beautiful woman with two beautiful children. And you're going to meet a guy named Trevor and he's going to sweep you off your feet. And you're going to be happy, the happiest you've ever been. But, but love yourself sooner, okay? Bye, girl.